In the previous classes, we have seen that rhizobium bacteria is found in roots of some plants and helps in absorbing nitrogen from atmosphere. We are also aware of the fact that lactobacillus bacteria is the cause of conversion of milk to curd. In this video, we will learn about bacteria and its classification. We all know that our body is made of tissues and tissues are made of cells. In our body, around 37 trillion cells are there and thus humans are called multicellular. A bacteria's body is made up of a single cell and thus it is called unicellular. Bacteria is a microorganism and its size is measured in microns. Our naked eyes are not enough to see them and electron microscope is required to see and study them. Let's learn about the structure of bacteria cell. Cell, or body, of bacteria is covered with rigid cell wall which protects and gives rigid shape to bacteria. Cell contains protoplasm which is considered the living material. Protoplasm is differentiated into cell membrane, nuclear material, and cytoplasm. Some bacteria, similar to plants, can perform photosynthesis. Protoplasm of such bacteria contains bacteriocele or pigment which help in photosynthesis. Nucleus of bacteria cell does not bound by nuclear membrane and because of this bacteria cell is a prokaryotic cell. Nucleus contains circular DNA molecules. On the outer part of cell, there are long thread-like structure called flagell. These structure help bacteria move around and thus called organ of mytility. There are some small thread on outer surface. These small threads or appendages are called pili. Pili help in attaching bacteria to surface of their food and thus called organ of attachment. Based on shape, bacteria is divided into four categories. Spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci. Rod shaped are called bacilli. Spiral or corkscrew are called spirillum. Comma shaped are called vibrio. In addition to shape, Bacteria are also classified into five categories based on number of flagella. We have already learned that flagella helps in movement. Bacteria with single flagellum at one end are called monotrichous. Bacteria with tuft, group, of flagellum arising on both ends are called amphitrichous. Bacteria without any flagella are called atrichous. Bacteria with tuft, or group, of flagella at one end are called lephotrichous. Bacteria with flagella all around the body are called as peritrichus.